going to present uh, such a mini clear company. So, so my name is Thomas Matilipan, I am 31. And my name is Alpha Iman, I am also 21. So, uh, we are going to the contents uh, of this assignment. The first one is the introduction, where we introduce uh, our company profile, which is part of the design. Then we are going to the literature review, where we explain uh, absorption costing and efficiency based costing. The third one is the logic, where we show format of absorption costing and efficiency. Then we are going to analyze and analyze of data, where we research on uh, we we go we doing anal analyzing on <coughs> which uh, causing system to be adopted conclusions our company decision. The first one is the introduction. Forever twenty one AC incorporated was our original information and listed as one of the world's biggest building company. The company was established by our CEO John Forever back in 1999 and now have more than 99 branches all over the world. The company is well known for its passion, clothing for teenagers and men. So, this is our Forever 21 mission, mission and business call. For the mission is we provide the latest fashion clothing to men immediate at a fraction of a cost. Our vision is to create a phenomenal fashion trend wear, then trend wear brands that are recognized with the best quality clothing at affordable price. The third one is our business cost. We focus on designing and manufacturing fashion trends for men and boys in India with the best quality available while maintaining price reasonability. So this is uh, Forever 31 organiza organizational chat. Mr. Forever, Mr. John Forever is our CEO. I am Mr. Responder Lipat as the Vice President of the Accounting Department. And Mr. Ali as the Vice President of Management. So what are the importance of uh, accounting system to our company Forever 31? The first one is to calculate material needed before the production begins to estimate company profitability, to estimate cost of product per unit, to allocate overhead cost into the product, to monitor and control production process, and to facilitate decision making. Uh, the next one is for the feature review. Uh, okay, the feature review is adoption costing system. Adoption costing system method are also for Full costing and efficient costing method. This costing method calculate and accumulate our costs correlated with product production, process and allocate them based on the individual production amount. The production costs that will be assigned under this costing system are the first one is the raw material. The material is the product main component and present in a finished product. The second one is the labor. The labor that are involved under product production line. And the last one is variable nutrition overhead. In that, uh, variable nutrition overhead is indirect cost correlated with production process that are various with production output. Next one is overhead absorption. Absorbed absorb overhead is defined as manufacturing overhead. They are applied to product. Absorb overhead usually measured by using basis of overhead allocation rate. So, OAR formula is total allocated overhead divided by the six. So this is advantage of evaluation costing. The first one is calculate more realistic product cost. Calculate more realistic product cost is evaluation costing compute. Treat inflationary overhead used in production process and calculate them into the cost of product. The second one is preparation of accounts. Adoption costing is the most suitable costing system for account preparation because it is complies with generally accepted accounting principle GAAP. The next one is best for smaller business. Smaller business doesn't have a lot of product. Therefore, using adoption costing system will make population easier and simple since there are not many individual product equipment. The fourth one is digital utilization 
of production resources. Uh, this is evolution consumer can indicate efficiency level of using a production resource measuring. If the production of oil is under absorb or over absorb, the next one is disadvantage of absorption costing. The first one is not suitable for management decision. This is because this costing method takes account of population need, fixed and variable cost. Therefore, this method is not suitable for management and planning. For example, forecasting and budgeting. The next one is overstated company for capability centers. Absorption costing method includes fixed cost into product cost without deducting them from the revenue until the product is sold and the revenue is, is realized. The last one is the profit needs to be adjusted. The profit for the projects needs to be adjusted according to under or over absorb fees are managed overhead. This problem arises because fixed overhead are absorbed into the cost of product. Whereas a DC an activity based costing and DC system is a costing method that identifies activity involved in production and assign cost to each activity involved in the production. The objective of a DC system are to identify and remove unprofitable products and service from product line and mark down the price of overpriced product. Overpriced product means expensive product. Identify. The second one is to identify and eliminate ineffective production or service processes and allocate processing concepts that result in a better yield for the same product. So what are the advantages of ABC costing, ABC costing system? The first, is, the first one is business activity improvement. ABC will help management determine which activity are doing well and which activity need improvement. This is mainly because ABC can trace activity that do not increase product value. This will help company to cut expenses on non-value added activities and focusing more on allocating resource to, resource to profitable activities. The second one is, a, is that ABC costing system is good for business. ABC costing system calculates cost of unit per each product compared to using total cost. It will ease benchmarking, benchmarking and Process. The third one is monitoring cost. If company overhead are a significant proportion in total cost, the management can implement ABP system to understand and manage the cost driver. The, the fourth one is increased profitability. The busy system eliminates unprofitable product from the product line. Elimination of unprofitable product will increase productivity without increasing product prices. So what are the advantages of these advantages of ABC system? The first one is ABC system is expensive to implement. Implement implementation of ABC will require company to hire temporary consultant specialized in setting up the system and provide and provide training regarding its excuse to involve employees. Sometimes company also require to install software for its implementation. The second one is ABC coding system is not suitable for smaller firms. Smaller firms only produce few types of product and incur small amount of overhead costs. Therefore, ABC, ABC, ABC system is designed to calculate more complex product variation and overhead costs that are relatively bigger, significant to bigger firms. Thus, ABC system is not available to be used by smaller firms and it is expensive as well to implement for smaller firms. The third one is ABC system is not compliant with general accepted accounting principles. The reason why ABC do not comply with that is that ABC system do not allocate all production costs to finish product. So the next step is the methodology. So this is the format of absorption costing. The first one you need to assign all direct and indirect production costs to activity cost pool. Then we need to determine the basis of the activity cost pool such as direct allocation, flow area and machine value. Then we need to allocate the cost by dividing activity cost pool by basis to get overhead rates. Then overhead rate is then multiplied by the usage rate for each department which is to be cutting and stores. You need to accumulate all the production and service department to get subtotal. 
with the service department has a mount on his subcontractor, you need to reapportion it to the production department. Reapportionment. After the after the operation, the cost under production department is then accumulated to obtain overhead costs. The next one is format of a uh, maker. Uh, the first one, the, step, the first step is identify activity related to production, and the second one is identify overhead cost that need to be allocated to the activity. The third one is assign overhead cost allocate with activity cost pool. Please. And uh, next one, divided total cost allocated per activity by cost driver to obtain overhead rate per unit. So you have to allocate overhead cost divided by usage rate and then you will get the overhead rates per unit. And next one, multiply the overhead rate per unit by the number of cost driver per activity to obtain activity overhead cost. And the last one is activity overhead cost is then accumulated to obtain total production cost. This is the total cost. So we are going to the analysis and result of our forever 21 company. Forever 21 scenario number has produced two types of product, which are the images and cotton t-shirts. These products are produced with the objective of achieving perceived quality by customers. The company produced 10,000 units of denim jeans and 19,000 units of cotton t-shirts. The company is expected to apply the manufacturing overhead of RM 660,000 ringgit using the basis of direct labor hours. The company wanted to compare levels of profitability between using a production costing system and activity testing as activity based costing method. These are denim jeans and cotton t-shirt prime costs. These are activities involved in the production, these are the cost drivers and the allocated overhead costs uh, for the activities. Whereas, these are the cost drivers for the activities. Uh, this is a question for absorption cost method. The first one is direct material. RM50 per unit multiplied by 10,000 unit and you get 150 ringgit. And for the cotton t-shirt is 7, 7 ringgit per unit multiplied by 19,000 unit so we will get RM 133,000 so after you multiply, multiply and then you have to uh, plus all of the direct material, labor and manufacturer value and then you will get 645,000 ringgit for the daily and uh, 418,000 for the cotton t-shirt. This is the overhead evaluation rate. This is the total overhead cost divided by 50,000 hours. This is the direct labor hours for the daily gym and plus by 9,500 hours and this is for the direct labor cotton t-shirt and we get RM37 ringgit. Uh, after you get RM27 ringgit for overhead operation rate, you will uh, multiply by the direct labor hours, that is 15,000 hours multiplied by RM27, RM27, and then you will get 405,000 for manufacturing overhead. And then the same step used to the cotton t-shirt. For the production cost per unit, for the digits, uh, total cost is divided by total production unit and then you will get RM64 and 50 cent ringgit. For the total is the same, same method as we will do it. So the first thing is we need to identify the DVD related to production and its allocated cost. For the supplies, the allocated cost is around 300,000. So, uh, to obtain overhead rate per unit, you need to, div to divide supplies allocated cost with the cost driver, which is number of units of 300,000 divided by 50,000, you get 20 million. Same set applied to serving process, political flow, warehouse, packaging, and cutting. And then, uh, to get total overhead cost per activities, you need to give a uh, so multiplied usage rate, usage rate of the cost driver 
then multiplied by overhead rate per unit, you get total overhead per activities. Total overhead per activities is then accumulated and plus with direct labor and direct material to get total production cost. So after after getting for our total production cost, we need to, we need to calculate production cost per unit. So how do you calculate production cost, cost per unit? Total production cost seven seven hundred and twenty seven thousand and five hundred divided by ten thousand unit, you get R M seventy two ringgit and seventy five cents. Whereas the competition is R M fifty six five hundred and fifty six thousand and five hundred divided by ninety thousand unit, you get R M thirty eight ringgit and twenty four cents. So for the conclusion and justification. The company will adopt a LG system because it will higher production cost per unit compared to using a production costing method. For the daily G, using a production costing method, you get RM 64 and 50 cents per unit, whereas a weekly activity case costing, you get RM 72 ringgit and 7, 72 ringgit and 75 cents. For the cost efficient, using a production costing method, you get RM 32 ringgit, whereas using an activity case costing, you get RM 38 ringgit and 34 cents. This table shows the production cost per unit of the engines and for the T-shirt using ABC, ABC system is higher than using a production costing system. Using a production cost or using ABC costing system, the engines is higher by RM ring at 35 cents, whereas for the T-shirt is RM 6 ring at 34 cents respectively. The higher the production cost, the higher the profit obtained by the company. Moreover, overhead cost incurred half significant proportion of the total cost. And therefore, using, by using a business system, the company can monitor and reduce overhead or expenses by identifying activities that do not add value to the product. A business system is more suitable as this company has various product department. The company are able to compare performance between department, identify problem with lower productivity department, and facilitate decision making. A business offers more detailed expense measurement and product cost than a production costing system. ABC also provide accurate and more reliable data for product cost estimation. That's all from us. Thank you.